For most of 2019, the Tacoma Fire Department has been under the helm of Chief Tory Green. We are lucky enough to have him in the studio today to talk about the fire department and what the future holds for this group, which not only handles fire calls, but also requests for emergency medical services. Chief Green, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. It's so good to have you here on the show. It's and great I, to be here. Absolutely. So, Chief Green, tell us about your background in fire service. Uh, so I was hired by the Tacoma Fire Department in 1993, so it's been about 26 years, almost 27 in April, um, and uh, most of my career I've been involved in emergency medical services. So uh, everyone is hired as a firefighter, but then I pretty quickly uh, drifted toward the med emergency medical services, became a paramedic, uh, served in that role for about 12 years, uh, and then I became an EMS educator. I uh, did that for three years, and then I became the medical services officer, uh, which oversees all of the paramedics, and uh, that role uh, I did for uh, several years. And then I moved into uh, a brief period of time as an uh, assistant chief of EMS and uh, training, and then I moved uh, into my previous role, which I was in for seven years, was, was the deputy chief of administration. Wow, lots of experience. Lots a little of bit. <laughs> <laughs> so Chief Green, can you describe what it's been like during your time as chief? Yeah, it's been great, actually, uh, and I, 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 I'm really happy to say that because um, I've been at headquarters um, for 10 years, um, and I've, so I was there when we were accredited, uh, which was a really great time to be uh, at headquarters. We were in a period of um, growth and expansion. Um, I was there when, when the recession hit mm -hmm. and when we lost uh, uh, upwards of 50 firefighters uh, and uh, were threatening to close stations just to keep um, uh, our keep within budget mm -hmm. uh, and I was uh, there throughout the recovery of that and um, and to the uh, point where we are now where I feel like we're uh, have a very positive uh, optimistic um, outlook right now so I'm it's been great and we have a wonderful mayor a yes, wonderful city do. manager a wonderful uh, <laughs> utilities director so yes. it couldn't be a better time to be fire chief yes three very phenomenal ladies absolutely and so what are some of the challenges that t the Tacoma Fire Department faces uh, so I, as I mentioned, I think probably our biggest challenge is staffing. Mm -hmm. um, we, we are, uh, you know, when, when the recession hit, well, previous to the recession, we were at about 450 firefighters. Okay. Um, and then we lost, um, like I said, about 50 firefighters. And uh, we haven't been able to recover from that yet. Mm -hmm. So we're still probably 30 firefighters behind that pre-recession uh, period of time. Uh, and the call volume for us, despite our best efforts, has not decreased. It's always gone up. And so back when we were at 450, we were running about 30,000 calls um, uh, per year, and now we're running about 40,000 calls per year with 30 less people. Wow. And so it's uh, staffing, is, is it, the reason that's important is because the people that are doing the work are doing more work. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, you can only do the kind of work that we do um, so much before it takes its toll. I think it takes its toll anyway. Right. Um, uh, but uh, if you if you're doing it in excess, it, it that certainly uh, happens faster. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and so, what are some changes, improvements that you've implemented implemented? Excuse me, since you've been the chief. Um, a couple of things. Um, one of the things that. Uh, uh, so I just I want to preface that by just saying that I was with the department. <laughs> with the administrative staff and the previous fire chief for the seven years before I became the chief. So whatever it looked like before, I was a part of that. Okay. So I don't, I don't want to make that look like <laughs> there was significant changes that needed to be made. Okay. But one of the things that we heard loud and clear, uh, including uh, that was in, in our department as well as throughout the city as a part of the city uh, employee survey, um, was the lack or the need for um, communication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, one of the things that I have really focused on is being extremely transparent uh, with the people that work for me so that they know not only what I'm doing, but why I'm doing it. Um, and, and to not put, put myself in a situation where I'm making decisions in a vacuum, um, I've created four advisory committees, um, one for our field responders, so our captain level and below, one for our chief and executive officers, um, one for our non-uniform employees, and then one for, for the community members. Wow. Um, so I wanna hear input and perspective on what they think that the department should be doing, the direction the department should be going, um, weigh in on some of the decisions um, that need to be made with regard to the department so that I am not 
just some person in the office making decisions, right. uh, but trying to make uh, the department, which I think is the best department in the nation, awesome. even better. Awesome. Well, Chief Green, we definitely appreciate everything that you and the Tacoma Fire Department are doing for the community. You clearly wear, wear many hats and you wear them well. So thank you thank to you. you and the department. We enjoyed having you on the show and hope you come back. Thank you. All right. More information about the Tacoma Fire Department can be found by going to the TFD website. When we come back from the break, we'll talk about the effects winter weather can have on you and your family. Stay with us.